Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we shall uh, learn about the stereoisomerism in coordination compounds. We know that stereoisomerism is just simply arises because of uh, variation in arrangement of atoms or groups around the central metal ion of the coordination compounds in three dimensional space. And the stereoisomerism have been broadly classified into two categories. One is what we call as uh, geometrical isomerism and the other type is optical isomerism. One is geometrical and second one is optical isomerism. So these are the two different types of stereoisomerism phenomenon that a coordination compound can be shown. And uh, geometrical isomerism is purely dependent on uh, the arrangement of ligands around the central metal ion. Arrangement of ligands around the central metal ion. And the optical isomerism is once again depends on arrangement of ligands only but the optical isomerism is purely depends on the capacity of the coordination material to rotate the plane polarized light. That means uh, dextro and levorotatory phenomenon will be shown by the coordination compound. And now we shall look over into both the kind of isomerisms that a coordination compound can show. So first we shall consider about geometrical isomerism. The geometrical isomerism of the coordination compounds is mainly due to uh, the ligands occupying the different positions around the central metal ion. The ligands occupying the different positions around the central metal ion. So, depending on how the ligands have been arranged around the central metal ion in three-dimensional space, we can observe the geometrical isomerism in such a way that, so when ligands are arranged around the central metal ion, those ligands may be present adjacent to each other. That means, in particularly speaking, the identical ligands. If the identical ligands which are present around the central metal ion, if they are adjacent to each other, the identical ligands or the other possibility the identical ligands may present at exactly opposite positions. So these are the two different ways the ligands can occupy around the central metal ion. If the identical ligands are present adjacent to each other then we call that isomer as cis isomer. And if the identical ligands are present at exactly opposite positions, then we call that as trans isomer. So that we can collectively say the geometrical isomerism as cis trans isomerism also. And the geometrical isomerism of the coordination compound is most common in coordination numbers of the complex compounds equals to 4 are 6. So in these two coordination numbered complexes the geometrical isomerism is too regular. And now we shall look over into the geometrical isomerism of the coordination compounds that are having coordination number equals to 4 as well as coordination number equals to 6. So now we shall see the geometrical isomerism in the coordination complexes whose coordination number is equals to 4. So we know that if the coordination number of the complex compound is equals to 4, then the arrangement of the coordination compound will be of the two types. One is that the coordination compound may have tetrahedral geometry or the coordination compound may have the square planar geometry. So uh, the geometrical isomerism in both the kind of complex are supposed to be understood. Compared to square planar complexes, the tetrahedral complexes will not show the geometrical isomerism. The reason is, if you go to the tetrahedral geometry like this, if the central metal ion is there and there will be four ligands present around the 
central metal ion. So, if you observe the tetrahedral geometry, the fourth ligand which is present is exactly adjacent to all the remaining three uh, ligands. So, that means each and every ligand is exactly adjacent to one another. So, in this case, it is not possible to differentiate the compound as uh, cis and trans. Therefore, in case of tetrahedral complexes with coordination number 4, we cannot observe the geometrical isomerism. But, in case of square planar complexes having coordination number 4, the geometrical isomerism is most common. And now we shall see the various types of square planar complexes and geometrical isomerism in those complexes with a suitable exemplifications. So now we shall consider the square planar complex of the type M A2 B2 provided M is the central metal ion and A and B are the uh, different monodentate ligands. So in this case uh, the cis and trans isomerism can be easily explained. Uh, shall draw the skeletal structures, how the cis and trans isomers can be noticed. So, central metal ion will be present at the middle and the square planar system provided A, A. These are the two monodentate ligands and the remaining two monodentate ligands will be here. This is one type of configuration and the other type of configuration can be like this. So here A, A, B and B. So these are the two possible structures we can observe for the complex of the top M A to B2. And here you can notice the metal ion and the ligands are present in the same plane. So because of this we can easily observe the difference in the arrangement of the uh, ligands around the central metal ion and here you can notice the two come identical ligands A and A, B and B they are present at adjacent positions thus this is the cis isomer and here the identical ligands are present in the opposite positions hence it is trans isomer. So we shall give one simple example for the complex compound of the type M A to B2 in order to show the cis and trans form of it. So let us consider the example of platinum complex Pt, NH3 twice and Cl2. So this is the complex compound for which we shall write the isomeric forms. So platinum will be at the center 1, 2, 3, 4 bonds and here N H3, N H3, Cl and Cl. So this is the first configuration and secondly platinum at the center N H3, N H3, Cl and Cl. This is the other structure and here you can notice the two amine ligands are present exactly adjacent to each other and here the two chlorine ligands are also adjacent but here the two amine ligands are exactly opposite similarly the two chloro ligands are also exactly opposite to each other so here this is the cis form and this is trans form and we can see the simple IUPAC name of this particular compound uh, here the platinum is in plus 2 oxidation state so diamine dichloro platinum 2 or simply platin this complex is simply called as platin and thus we can call this complex as a cis platin and this complex as trans platin we know that cis platin is a material which is used as an anti-cancer agent so in the treatment of cancer we use this particular material that is cis platin so and that's about the complex of the type m a to b2 next the complexes of uh, the type M A to B C. So here also we can observe the cis and trans isomerism. So M A to B C. So this is the one configuration, and the other type of arrangement in square planar complexes of the type M A to B C is 
the two A ligands are at opposite positions and BC will be here. And here, this is the cis configuration and this is trans configuration. So we can give one simple example for this particular compound. Let us consider the complex of uh, platinum again. So platinum, two pyridine ligands, one amine ligand and one chloro ligand. So here uh, it is in plus one oxidation state. It is a complex cation. So for which we shall write the cis and trans configurations. So platinum is at the center. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So here the two pyridine ligands will be at the adjacent positions and 1 NH3 and 1 Cl. So pyridine are present at adjacent position. So this is cis configuration. And other one is platinum present at the center. Sorry. This is a complex cation. So platinum Peridin and peridin and here Cl and NH3 showing the complex cationic form and here the identical ligands are present at opposite positions so therefore it is having trans configuration so we can see the IUPAC name for this compound uh, amine chloro di peridin Platinum 2 ion. Since we don't have any ion XPO, so we should say it is ion. And that's about the complexes of the type MA to BC. Next, the third type of square planar complexes, that is complexes of the type MABCD, where all the four ligands are different so when all the four ligands are different how to differentiate the isomer as a cis or trans the simple thing is in order to get the cis and trans configurations of the type m a b c d we should fix any one ligand and we should rotate the other ligands at transposition so that by observing the position of the fixed ligand with the other ligands we can see whether it is a cis or trans configuration so for the complex of the type M, A, B, C, D, three possible uh, structures are uh, available and now we shall see how they can be framed. So firstly, the central metal ion shall take the skeletal structure for a square planar complex. And so here we shall fix the ligand A and we shall arrange the remainings. So now uh, B, C, D. So now we shall uh, refer uh, one other ligand with respect to your fixed ligand A. So let us consider the ligand B and here A and B are present at adjacent positions. So now we shall uh, replace the ligands without altering the position of the fixed ligand that is A. So A let it be fixed. So now we shall take B over here, C over here and D for here. And here for A, here B is at adjacent position right and here in this case B is exactly at opposite position so now one more form so M so A is at fixed position so B will come over here C will be here and D will come over here and you can notice A is fixed B C D D C B and B, C, D. So all the variations have been done. So with respect to the fixed ligand, we shall take one other ligand as reference. So here A and B have been taken. So here A and B are present at adjacent position. So this will be taken as cis. And here A and B are present at opposite position. So we can take it this as trans. And here once again A and B came to adjacent position. So once again this will be taken as cis. So, for the complexes of the type M, A, B, C, D, three possible configurations are available and among the three, two are cis configuration and one is trans configuration. So, let us consider one example for uh, showing the cis and trans forms of the type M, A, B, C, D. So, let us consider a simple example of uh, 
which one let us consider of platinum itself so platinum having the ligands pyridine NH2OH hydroxyl amine nitrite N NH3 so this is also once again a complex cation so now we shall see about the arrangements so platinum is present at the center so one two three four so we shall fix pyridine NH2OH NO2 NH3 so this is the complex cation and here uh, the fixed ligand is pyridine and we shall consider a hydroxyl amine as reference so next one so platinum is at the center having four coordinate bonds so pyridine is fixed so we shall take the alteration so NH2OH let us take over here NH2OH and NO2 will come over here and NH3 so this is the second configuration so the last one PT so pyridine is fixed and NH2OH will come here NH2OH and uh, NH3 will come here and NO2 will be here once again it is a complex cation and here you can notice pyridine NH2OH present at adjacent position so this is cis isomerism isomer and here pyridine and hydroxyl amine are present at opposite position so it is trans isomer and once again here pyridine and hydroxyl amine are present at adjacent to each other so once again this is a cis isomer so these are the three possible stable isomers of the compound this one and among the three two are the cis isomers one is trans isomer apart from this type of uh, complexes in case of square planar complexes the complex containing an unsymmetrical bidentate ligands unsymmetrical bidentate ligands if the unsymmetrical bidentate ligands are present in case of uh, square planar complexes say of the type m is the central metal ion a b twice this is the complex type so where a b is a bidentate ligand provided it's an unsymmetrical bidentate ligand so when a square planar complex is having such uh, unsymmetrical bidentate ligands then in that case also we can notice the cis and the trans configuration so let us consider one simple example of this particular type say you go with the platinum complex and uh, let us consider the glycine as the unsymmetrical bidentate ligand so now we shall see how the configuration of this particular complex uh, will appear so the structure of uh, this particular complex will be so platinum will be at the center and the square plane or geometry this four terminals of the square plane so fine so glycine glycine is having the arrangement so nh2 ch2 c let me write in this way c o o minus so this is the structure of this glycineto ligand so here this will be accommodated over here so nh2 this is one uh, ligating atom and this is another ligating atom so nh2 ch2 c double bond o and o so this is one bidentate ligand and the same thing we can observe over here so that is uh, n h2 uh, c h2 c double bond o and o so that is the square planar geometry so now we shall uh, write the other type of configuration of these two ligands around the platinum so platinum will be at the center and so we are having the skeleton structure of square planar geometry so now n h2 ch2 ch2 c double bond o and o and again o c double bond o 
CH2 and NH2. So this is the structure and here you can notice the position of the components. So here the NH2 groups, oxygen, carbonyl group, methylene group all are present at exactly adjacent position but here the carbonyl groups, amine, oxygen ligating atoms so all are present at opposite position. So this will be regarded as a cis isomer and this will be regarded as trans isomer. So in this way we can say about uh, geometrical isomerism that is cis trans configuration even though we are having bidentate ligand the two the unsymmetrical bidentate ligand in case of square planar geometry. But if you come to the case of the complexes of the type M A3B and M uh, A sorry M B3A and M A4. So in case of square planar complexes of these three types we cannot notice the presence of cis and trans isomers because all the ligands uh, the positions of the ligands are exactly adjacent to each other so it is not possible to differentiate them into cis and trans form and that's about the geometrical isomerism of uh, square planar complexes and now we shall go with the coordination compounds of coordination number six that is having octahedral geometry and we shall observe the geometrical isomerism in octahedral complexes. So in case of uh, complexes having coordination number equals to 6, we know that the complex will adopt octahedral geometry. And if you come to the case of octahedral complexes, in octahedral complexes of the type MA5B or uh, MA6, in these two kinds of complexes, we cannot observe the geometrical isomerism. We can observe the geometrical isomerism in case of uh, complexes of the type MA4B2 or MB4A2. So complexes of these two types can be observed or you can uh, observe the geometrical isomerism in case of when these two ligands are different, when uh, these two ligands are different also that is MA4BC. So, the octahedral complexes that is to coordination number 6, if the coordination compounds belonging to either of the time, we can easily notice the existence of cis and trans configuration. So, now we shall go with uh, the complexes of this particular type by the suitable exemplification and we shall see about the geometrical isomerism. So, firstly, we shall consider about or else let me consider uh, one simple example for all these three types uh, for these two. So let me consider the complex of chromium say Cr NH3 4 times Cl2 with one positive charge. A complex K ion have been taken and let us draw the configurations for uh, this particular complex and there we shall see the cis and trans arrangement. So chromium will be at the center so the octahedral vertices this one and NH3 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 so there are four amine ligands and two chloroligands so with the, a positive charge on the complex and here you can notice the two chloroligands are presented exactly adjacent position. So now we shall write the other form of this particular complex. Okay, fine. So NH3, there are four amine ligands and one Cl and other Cl with a positive charge on the complex and here you can notice the two chloroligands are present at exactly adjacent position and the two chloroligands are present exactly opposite position so that we can see this is the cis configuration and this is 
trans configuration. Suppose if the complex is having of the type M A4 B C, then whatever these two ligands, the different ligands are available. Based on the position of those two ligands, we can say whether the complex belonging to the type of cis or trans. And because of the difference in the arrangement of the groups, these two materials do possess variation in color also. That means this uh, cis configuration possesses violet color and this uh, trans isomer possesses green color. So in this way, the differentiation of cis and trans isomers is possible once again based on the color. And now we shall go with uh, one more type of complex that is uh, complex of the type M A3 B3. So the octahedral complex of the type M A3 B3. So in case of the complexes having uh, two different ligands present in equal number, there are only two isomeric forms are possible. So now we shall see how that arrangement will be. Uh, let us consider a simple example of rhodium complex for that. So RH, Cl3, there are three pyridine ligands. So this is the complex. So for which we shall uh, observe how the arrangement will be. So these are the two possible structures of the complexes that is RHCl3 py3 and here you can notice uh, we cannot say cis and trans over here because we are having three identical groups identical ligands right but still uh, we can notice these two configurations with two different and distinct names so you can notice over here these uh, three materials these three ligands so if you go with the complete structure of this octahedral geometry you can observe that the three ligands this three the three pyridine ligands this three pyridine ligands are present at one face of the octahedron right and similarly these three this uh, cl cl and cl these three ligands are present at one face Right. So since the identical ligands are present at one face of the octahedron, such kind of an isomer of the type MA3B3 is called facial isomer or simply FAC isomer. And if you come to this particular isomer, you can notice over here, so the three identical ligands, these three. The three pyridines as well the three chlorines. The three chlorines and three pyridines are present. I mean to say the identical ligands are present at exactly the meridian of the octahedron. And that's why this particular isomer is called meridional or in a simple way mer isomer. So it's a special case of uh, geometrical isomerism in case of coordination complexes of the top MA3, B3. So this is called facial and this is called meridional. And not only the presence of monodentate ligands can be considered for explaining the geometrical isomerism in case of octahedral complexes. If the bidentate ligands presents also if the bidentate ligands are present also we can easily explain the cis and trans isomerism in case of octahedral complexes and now we shall see how we can differentiate the octahedral configuration as a cis and a trans isomeric form in case of complexes containing bidentate ligands so in case of uh, octahedral complexes containing a bidentate ligand here a a twice is a symmetrical bidentate ligand so when symmetrical bidentate ligands are present in uh, octahedral complexes and the other two ligands can be same or they can be different we can easily observe the geometrical isomerism that is existence of cis and trans isomer so let us give a simple example and we shall draw the configurations of this so let us go with the CO uh, ethylene diamine twice 
and uh, let it be NH3 and Cl. So for which there will be two positive charges. So we shall draw the cis and trans configuration for this. So cobalt will be at the center. One, two, three, four, five, and six vertices. So here, uh, let us go with the uh, the ethylene diamine like this. You are supposed to draw and one more. So here, I'm sorry, and H three twice. So three positive charge. So NH3, NH3. So with two positive charge. So this is one configuration of the type MAA twice B2. So for this, we shall write the other configuration. So cobalt will be at the center. One, two, three, four, five, six uh, vertices of octahedron. So ethylene diamine ethylene diamine NH3 and NH3 with three positive charge so fine you can notice the two amine ligands and two ethylene diamine ligands are exactly adjacent to each other so this is having cis configuration and here the two amine ligands and two ethylene diamine ligands are exactly opposite to each other and hence it is having trans configuration. So in this way, we can write for the complex of this type also. We can just differentiate these two ligands. You can take NH3 and Cl or CLB or whatever it may be. The same thing will be observed since the bidentate ligand will be uh, focused for differentiating the complex as a cis or transform. And that's the whole and sole thing about the geometrical isomerism in case of coordination compounds having coordination number equals to 4 and equals to 6. Next, we shall go with the optical isomerism in coordination compounds. We know that uh, when a plane polarized light is passed through a solution of a material, then uh, the material may have the capability to rotate the plane polarized light and that capacity we call as optical activity and the material is called as optically active compounds and if a material is uh, having capability to rotate or turn the plane polarized light in a clockwise direction that is towards right hand side then we used to call that as dextrorotatory and uh, it is simply designated with the symbol D or with plus sign. Instead, if the plane polarized, if the material rotates the plane polarized light in anti-clockwise direction, that is towards the left hand side, then we used to call that as levorotatory materials. And uh, those levorotatory materials will be designated with the symbol L or with minus so like a normal organic compounds the coordination compounds do uh, exhibit optical activity but among the coordination compounds of various coordination numbers the coordination compounds with coordination number six that is octahedral complexes are most common in uh, showing optical activity that too the octahedral complexes having a bidentate ligands are preferably exhibit the optical activity. And now uh, we shall consider some of the simple examples for uh, the octahedral complexes that exhibits optical activity. And the octahedral complexes say of the type M, A, A, thrice, where all the three ligands or bidentate ligands are octahedral complexes of the type M, A, A twice, B2 are octahedral complexes of the type M, A, A twice, B, C or even the octahedral complexes of the type M, A, A, B, C 2, 3, uh, 2, 3, 4, B, C um, or else yeah B2 C2 can also show 
optical activity. So now we shall give one simple example for each and every type of the octahedral complexes of belonging to either of the type. And one more thing. So in case of octahedral complexes containing of bidentate ligand, only the cis configuration will show optical activity. That means uh, if a material have to show optical activity, the general condition what we used to say is the presence of a chiral carbon atom or a chiral center should be there. But that is not the only condition uh, to exhibit optical activity. The molecule should be asymmetric in nature. That means the molecule should not contain a plane of symmetry and it should have a set of enantiomers. Such a kind of compound can easily show optical activity. That means it will be having a capability to rotate the plane polarized light. So if you come to the case of uh, trans configuration, as I said, so the trans configuration, so here we have, this is the cis configuration and this is the trans configuration. In the trans configuration, we are having a plane of symmetry. So because of presence of plane of symmetry, the trans configuration will not show optical activity, only the cis structure will do exhibit optical activity. So now we shall go with some of the examples of the each and every type and we shall draw the enantiomeric structures for that particular compound and we shall see whether the compounds are optically active or not. So first we shall consider of the type MAA thrice. So for this let me consider the example of CoEN thrice with a three positive charge on the complex so where En is the ethylene diamine. So let us write the structure for it CO the six vertices of the octahedral complex. So one is En and here is one ethylene diamine ligand and here is one ethylene diamine ligand and here each and every ethylene diamine ligand is uh, cis to each other. Sorry here is one each and every ethylene diamond ligand is cis to each other. If you have taken the mirror image of it, so when you have taken mirror image of this one, so let us observe whether the mirror image is enantiomer or not. So the mirror image of this complex will be this one. So here you can uh, notice these two structures are exactly non-superimposable mirror images to each other and that what we call as enantiomers. So this is enantiomeric material and since there is no plane of symmetry, these two materials do exhibit optical activity. Among the two, one will be dextrorotatory and other will be levorotatory. This is the one simple example of the type MAA. Thrice. And now we shall go with uh, this uh, one example. Now we shall give one simple example for uh, MAA twice B2 type. Let us consider the example of rhodium complex RH EN twice Cl2. So this is the one example uh, for which we shall write the isomeric forms, uh, the cis configuration. So RH, the six vertices of the octahedron. So here, En, En, Cl, Cl. So here, uh, RH will be in the 3 plus oxidation uh, state. So there will be 1 plus charge on the complex. So this is one isomer for which we shall uh, take the mirror image, RH, the six vertices of the octahedron. Now Cl, Cl, En and En. So these are the mirror images to each other. That means they are also satisfying the condition of enantiomers. That is these two are exactly non-superimposable mirror images to each other. And the molecules are whole and solely dissymmetric due to absence of plane of symmetry. Hence these two are optically active among the two one will rotate the plane polarized light towards the right and other will rotate the plane polarized light towards left uh, that is dextro and levo 
rotatory and that's about the optical isomerism in case of coordination compounds so if you like the video please uh, share it like it and do subscribe to my channel thank you very much